Hey, thanks for clicking on my video guys. Uh, today I'm showing you how to do the puzzle in the Tomb of Lucian. Uh, first things first, you're going to need to put some blood over this pipe. And then if you're doing it the normal way where you're not joining the convent, you then just need to bless the blood. Uh, lots of ways to do that. As an elf, you could use Flesh Sacrifice as an undead, where the Mask of the Shapeshifter turn into an elf. Or just use um, something like Blood Rain or something like... Uh, the only other necro spells apart from Blood Rain is like Corpse Explosion or Summon, um, summon the not the Bone Widow, the other one, the Blood one, and then that leaves a lot of blood and then you just bless it. Because you know, I'm doing it as the Convent, it all has to be cursed. But first thing I need to actually, that one cleans the slate, that one actually does the puzzle, that activates it. So first things first, I need to finish the puzzle. And then activate it, and then curse the altar. Right, so... Yeah, the fire one's the most twisty, it's always the one I start with. Like, I really don't get why this is the last puzzle. This I thought this was the easiest puzzle in the whole game. The, um... What you might call it? That lich puzzle was tricky. I nearly got it right, but it was just one off my placement, and I had to look it up because it was driving me insane. Um, and also that code for the mattress's hatch that pissed me off, and I had to look it up. I tried all the combinations and all the notes you'd find, and like the way it was written on the walls on the plaques. I tried all those options. It just pissed me off. Didn't work any of them. Right, so that's the fire done. All like that. And uh, next I'll be the blood, because the blood's quite easy. Da -da -da. And then... Goes there. That one like that. Up, up. Turn that one the right way. And then the yeah, Right, so that's the blood done. Complete path. Alright, cool. Fire and blood done now. The water. Um, pretty sure it's this way and going this way, not going that way. So that way and there, there. Yeah, it is this way. And then like that. Then like that. And then like that. Alright, so that should be the puzzle done. I'll lay my hand upon it and watch it all move along. Yeah, shame I can't really get a better view. Top down view doesn't really show it at all. But yeah, once they've all got to the end, then I'll do the God King thing and curse the altar. Because you don't have the bless spell, so they obviously put a cursed option in. And then as the God King as well, we'll see what happens. Like, hurry up, blood, are you there yet? Alright, now it's there, cool. The God King whispers Alright. Uh, just gonna do a quick save to so. Yeah, there we go. So let's do the God King option. Let's see what happens. Oh, nice! The barriers went. That's how you get the chest. Thank fuck. I was wondering how you did that for like three campaigns now. Like, so you, can, you can't teleport it or anything. The barricades completely block your line of sight. Open the chest then. Ooh, nice. Sword. Wrong bag. Yep, you follow. Alright, so yeah, that was how to open the tomb of Lucian. Yeah, if you're the con if you join the God King, this is how you do it. If you haven't joined the God King, you just bless that blood on the pipe. But thanks for watching everyone. Feel free to like, comment and subscribe.